hey guys and welcome back to the channel today we'll be looking at how to download from io 3d all stars deluxe and how to install it properly okay so first of all you'll need to go to go file this the link will be in description here you're going to download the zip file of, of this game just click download here and just press it again to download the game okay after that you'll need to extract it to any place you want you just need to go to the location and you're gonna have something like this okay so let's see if, if, if our game works already or not let's go to launcher and just double click the exe file As you can see, it has a proper UI and menu. We have Super Mario 64, Super Mario Sunshine, Galaxy, Galaxy 2, and 3D Land. But as you can see, uh, all of our games are grayed out because they are not installed it properly. So to fix that, we're going to need to close this game. <coughs> Uh, okay, let's go back here, open, go back to data, ROMs, and here will, will be the location of our ROMs. Okay, so let's begin with Super Mario 64. So to download the Super Mario 64 ROM, because it is not exactly the Nintendo 64 ROM, you're gonna need the PC port of it. Okay, so we go into this page, Super Mario 64 Core DX. You just need to download here, click on here. This is the GitHub page. You scroll down until you reach your OS. Mine is Windows, so just click this, download it and extract the zip file again after that we're going to have something like this extract to the, the folder name, named for my 64 right here okay now just drag and drop the folder into roms and rename it properly into super mario 64 this is very important by the way if you don't name it exactly like this, it won't work. And goes the same for our exe file. There we have it. Okay, after this, let's go to Mario Sunshine. Just drag and drop our game. Okay, for Super Mario Sunshine to work, you're gonna need to have an ISO file of the game and rename it to exactly Super Mario Sunshine like this. Now I'm gonna move to Galaxy and Galaxy 2 and just drag and drop them. Uh, the files need to be WBFS. And this is very, very important. You're gonna need to have the USA version of these two games, the two e games, the two Galaxy games. Otherwise, it, it didn't, it's not going to work. I have no idea why, but that's what I know. So please make sure to get the USA version of the games. Otherwise, it won't work. Okay, now into our final game, Super Mario 3D Land. Okay, normally the ROM should be a 3DS file, but you're going to need to rename it to a CCI file, just like this. If you can't see the extension of the file, like 3DS, CCI, WFS, ISO, or anything like that, you just, you just need to click here, Options, View and 
uh, make sure hide extensions for known file types is unchecked click, click apply and then okay okay that's it normally normally our game should be working right now let's just go back to game uh, to the folder sorry launcher and if you want to have this cool uh, looking uh, extension uh, shortcut sorry you just need to click here and send this to desktop okay let's take it now and there we go that's how you download and install my video of Star deluxe into into the pc i'm gonna show you some gameplay now just a second there we go our games are fully functional now mario 64 sunshine galaxy one two and three devices Okay, uh, I like to choose from here. Let's go with it. Mario 64. Okay, so we're going to press press first. And next again. Okay, and as you can see, we are playing Square 64 in the right screen. And in 4K if you want. If you have the monitor, of course. And yes, everything looks smooth and with a uncapped frame rate, analog camera also, and many many other other features. Yahoo! Let's go and cast it. There we go. Okay, let's change the game now. Uh, let's go to Mario Galaxy 2. As you can see here, the textures have been massively upgraded from the Wii version. We have the A and Z are button from the Nintendo Switch, not from the Wii. See a bit of gameplay here. Nothing special. Dear Mario. By the way, a really masterpiece. Of the digital release was here on Switch TV. Okay, uh, as for the real person. It's emulated and uh, it's not it's not into the right right joystick. It's not ideal and perfect. But we get the job done. I think you can remove the controls. I think that's enough. Huh? Yeah, after you close the game, you get back to the menu. You choose a different one. Okay, that this was it. Thank you for watching uh, this tutorial. If you have any ideas you need help with, like. Uh, downloading games or installing them correctly you can leave a comment like and of course subscribe see you soon